Hello friends, in this video I am going to discuss on mobile application testing approach. So I am going to discuss in detail about what are the various testing approach which we are going to adopt to test the mobility apps. So I will be discussing in detail about various kinds of testing we adopt as part of the mobile application testing approach. Before proceeding further, if you have visited first time testing shala YouTube channel, then please then please click on subscribe and bell notification so that all our future videos related to software testing will be in your inbox that help you to enhance your software testing skills. So let's move on to understand what is all about mobile app testing approach. Mobile app testing approach. The first topic we are going to cover in this it works testing scenario this is very crucial testing scenario we should adopt in the mobile app testing which is network testing scenarios so network testing scenarios which involves network bandwidth various kinds of bandwidth uh, will be testing in this the low bandwidth high bandwidth all the various bandwidth will be testing when we are utilizing the mobile app testing then we will also be testing the mobile apps with offline condition when there is no network is available and we are trying to access a mobile app and see how it works that is another kind of test scenarios we will be testing under network scenario testing then we also change the mobile into the flight mode without network then we will observe how the app behaves the app should not uh, throw any exceptions it should work gracefully in the off offline mode and flight mode and also we will be validating uh, the app with various network conditions such as 2G, 3G, 4G, Wi-Fi for all these network conditions mobile app should work very seamlessly that is uh, another kind of testing we do in simulating the network testing scenarios we will also test the network drop-off in certain places let's say if you are going in a tunnel or if you are going inside the building where there is no network coverage suddenly the network will drop off so in those situations also we will open the app and we will try to simulate this scenario by going to the different places and see when network is dropped off how the app will behave that is also we are going to validate uh, as part of the network testing and also we are going to validate uh, different types of testing such as network switching so network switching is like moving from GSM to Wi-Fi and Wi-Fi to GSM with the different network conditions we are switching the network and sometimes we will be switching the network vendors as well to see how the app really behaves in these different conditions so these are all the things we'll be doing in network testing scenarios that really helps uh, to adapt whether mobile app is really works with all these uh, network conditions it is very crucial to test all these things just to ensure that everything is as expected without having any major challenges so next type of testing which we are going to do here is mobile feature testing so basically here we are going to test the testing related to the mobile features itself such as screen size of the mobile because we are going to test the mobile app against the mobile features the app will be tested in the various different sizes of mobiles the screen size screen size we will be testing in mobile phones, we will be testing in iPads, iPhones, different tablets with different si screen sizes in different screen sizes and we will see still our application behaves as expected. The next is we also test uh, different touch and gesture just to see how app is uh, able to cope up with the different touch and uh, gesture when you are performing uh, the app testing. We will also be doing different ori orientation, vertical and horizontal uh, orientation just to see application still behaving 
as expected you should not change uh, the behavior when you are working in a different orientation in the mobile device and also if app is making use of the camera if app is making use of camera then um, the work of the camera should work seamlessly without having any challenges we will be validating different scenarios just to ensure that integration of the camera with the mobile app is really happens seamlessly and also we will be validating the gps which is uh, for network locations which is a location service to validate when the gps is integrated with your application we will have to ensure that nothing is no location services is really breaking because whatever we have listed here whatever we are listed here these are all uh, the features of the mobile when these features of the mobile when the app when the mobile app being used with different uh, these features still the app should work seamlessly without having any challenges and you should not give any exception handling in any of the situation that is a expectation out of this mobile feature testings so till now we understood the different network testing scenarios we need to adopt as part of mobile app testing then mobility feature testing we should adopt as part of mobile app testing so these are the first two approaches two different test approaches we will be adopting i hope you understood up to here so then let's move on to understand when you are doing mobile app testing we will also need to look into the device fragmentation because every mobile app should go through testing on iPhones, I iPads, tablets, Android phones, Windows phones we have different uh, device prag uh, fragmentation is available in the mobile market and we should also validate the compatibility testing when we are moving from one version to the another version the latest version of the operating system then how the app is really is going to behave in the different scenarios so th these are all the things uh, we will be validating uh, in these uh, scenarios basically as I said uh, we will be discuss we will be testing it in on different uh, operating systems such as Android, iOS Windows again each and every operating system they will be providing the various uh, updates and we'll also need to certify the app for the these updates as well that is a challenge uh, which we face in the mobile app testing then we'll also be we need to validate as I said uh, different physical devices which is uh, available in our hand and uh, there are few simulators also we'll use during development as well as certain type of uh, testing then both physical and simulator devices should work seamlessly and uh, you should look into the various aspect whether still it is behaving what we tested in simulation is still work as expected in the physical devices that is the thing we are going to validate then uh, there is another set of devices which will be the closed cloud based devices which will be located remotely and will be trying to access these devices as if those devices are in our hand so th that kind of testing also will be doing for the mobility app then the next type of uh, testing we perform on the mobile application is usability aspects it is nothing but usability testing this is a fourth approach fourth testing approach we will be using in the mobile app testing this is third this is the fourth approach we will be testing it then uh, let's understand what are the things we do in usability testing basically for usability testing there is a standard guidelines being framed for mobile applications as a tester uh, you should you should clearly follow those usability guidelines just to ensure that nothing is broken as part of the usability perspective then you should also see how the different layouts look like uh, is it uh, totally different compared to the usability guidelines is lay layouts are as expected as per the designs all those things we need to validate and also we need to validate the look and feel how the look and feel uh, 
is being implemented and this look and feel is as per the guidelines or not. So we should also need to validate uh, exception handling condition as we discussed with the different uh, various kinds of testing. Uh, you should throw error messages in a more uh, not an abrupted way. You should give a right messages. You should give a meaningful messages during uh, any exception situations. Then uh, as I said uh, ease of use is very much important when you are working on usability testing. Usability testing ease of use is very much is needed. That is the expectation of the mobile app testing approach. This is the fourth kind of testing we do in mobile app testing. Then let's move on to understand further uh, type of testing which we are going to do here is the functional testing. This is a core testing which we do against the mobile apps where we will be testing everything the business applications which is implemented as an app where we will be testing every business requirements against uh, what is expected and what is actually coming. Everything will be testing as part of the business requirement. Then uh, we will also be performing different li levels of functional testing like block box testing, white box testing, right? So we will be doing uh, integration testing, functional testing, then system testing, then user acceptance testing, exploratory testing. There are various kinds of testing normally we perform on the mobile app when we are doing functional testing. Then next type of uh, test approach which we are going to do here is the interruption management. Especially we are testing on the device right when when we are testing on the device this functional testing or any other uh, testing when you are operating on the app you should not give an exceptional handling when I'm when I'm trying to get any, any interruption in the middle of the operation on the mobile app such as when I get suddenly a me mo message messages in your mobile when you're operating with the mobile app it should work seamlessly without having any issue then we should also work seamlessly when some pu push messages or push notifications are coming inside your mobile phones all those things you should validate then uh, when you set up an alarm when you are working on the app suddenly if alarm gets triggered still uh, app should not crash or app should not uh, do unnecessary things you should work as expected irrespective of any interruption it can happen to the app then you will also see to that perform a multitasking open multiple apps from the different vendor and also open the app which you are testing as well and see keep doing multitasking the time how the app is going to behave how the app is going to behave and validate uh, the each functionality during this multitasking and see to that nothing is breaking so that is all about interruption testing so this is fifth type of testing is a functional testing sixth type of testing which you are going to do as part of mobile app testing is interruption testing then let's move on to understand the one more type of testing which we are going to perform when you are doing mobile app testing is location based testing as as we discussed earlier there is a gps is there enabled uh, gps is there in every mobile when GPS is getting integrated with your mobile app that is helping to find the location and so we will have to validate uh, the lo location services just to see GPS is working in all different kinds of uh, situations that is also we need to validate as part of this mobile application approach then uh, we should also look into automation testing is there any possibility we can bring an automation for all the mobile app testing just to in ensure bring the good productivity and able to execute the test in an automated manner so that uh, we can uh, bring the activity and we can deliver the things uh, in a faster manner 
so those things also we are going to validate and as well as we are trying to bring automation into the different parts of the functionality as well as various interactions such as touch gesture and sensors so this is all about uh, automation testing on to the next type of testing which is installation and uninstallation testing for any app to be installed in, in the mobile before starting any further testing that is we are going to do as an installation testing just to ensure that during installation you should not give any challenges to the user um, it is always a user friendly installation should happen and uh, should not be a buggy installer when you are installing the app then nobody likes your apps to install it that is a kind of testing which we do in installation testing and there will be a certain type of testing we do also do in uninstallation testing this is uh, another set of uh, testing which we do as part of the testing approach for mobile app testing then uh, another type of testing which we are going to do here is performance testing since the performance testing will be more concentrating on validating the response time test and load test stress test just to ensure that under different uh, user load conditions or data conditions whether still your mobile app still works as expected without having any challenges it should work seamlessly that is all about uh, performance testing and also during uh, performing performance testing we should also be validating under different protocol like http https different protocols will be validating the performance test i hope you understood the different aspect of mobile app testing approach where we are going to test various parameters when we are testing the mobile app enjoyed watching this video then please click on but click on like button and if you visited testing shala youtube channel for the first time then do click on subscribe and bell notification so that all our future videos related to software testing will be in your inbox that help you to enhance your software testing skills thanks for watching this video bye for now take care